Hey, good day traders. How you doing, man? Doc here. Well, I'm here taking my morning walk. Uh, this is the continuation of my day. Uh, it's now about 7, 7.30 a.m. here in the beautiful shores of the Bahama Islands. Uh, let me give you a quick shot so you can see what I'm dealing with. Uh, and this is where I come for my morning swim and this is where I come for my morning walk so basically um, what I wanted to talk to you about this morning was top-down analysis top-down analysis a lot of traders when they're starting out they don't understand the importance of top-down analysis they assume that they can look at the market in a very tight fashion and they don't realize that when you approach the market, you have to approach the market from a macro perspective. And once you have established the overall macro uh, perspective of the market, you can take a deeper look into the market and you can get a clearer understanding of what is happening on the smaller time frame. For instance, when I say that, what I mean is this. In order to analyze any cryptocurrency, any stock, any forex or foreign exchange uh, pair, uh, you have to start with a top-down analysis in order to be able to get the right feel of the market. And let me break it down for you in terms of the charts. Myself personally, what I do is I would start with the monthly chart and the reason why I would start with the monthly chart is because the monthly chart gives you a big broad sweeping image and for those of you who are trading in the cryptocurrency market what you are noticing is that the monthly chart gives you the entire history of that particular cryptocurrency coin that you're trading so if you are looking at that particular cryptocurrency coin uh, from the monthly chart you'll be able to you'll be able to see the overall direction the overall direction and that is what you're truly using the monthly chart for to get the overall direction and a lot of traders they don't understand that once you can assess the overall direction of the market it is like a moving train that is the best thing that I can compare it to it is like a moving train and you as a trader entering the market you are basically trying to get the best uh, stride whereby you're getting onto that moving train and you are able to start off in the green right out of the gates whereby you don't have to worry about large drawdowns and things of that nature so if you are able to do that you will be able to basically flow uh, with the overall flow of the market so that's the monthly chart so the monthly chart will give you the direction the direction so if the charts on the monthly is bearish heading down you as a trader you you trading that particular crypto coin you only want to be entering short sales you only want to be entering short sales so if the market on the other hand is bullish if it is bullish then you only want to be entering longs you only want to be entering longs or buys i should say so that's the monthly the monthly chart will give you the overall direction and the reality is you as a trader you only want to trade with the trend I know it sounds or oh, cliche and everybody says it they always say the trend is your friend and all uh, uh, the trend is your friend until it bends and that is very true and the trend of the monthly chart is your best friend and that is going to show you and show you 
the direction in which you are going to be moving with your trades. The Let's look at the weekly now. When you come down from the monthly chart and you scale down to the weekly chart, what you want to do now is the weekly chart is going to give you key levels. Key levels. And when I say key levels, I'm talking the order blocks, the premium and discount and the equilibrium levels. That is what you will ascertain in the weekly chart. So here it is. You're dealing with this from the perspective and the mindset that you're dealing with this from the perspective and the mindset that now keep in mind I'm talking to you as a swing trader. I'm not talking to you as a scalper. I'm not talking to you as an intraday trader. I'm talking to you as a swing trader. The weekly chart is going to give me a clearer understanding of what the more present state of the market is in terms of week by week so i would get a better understanding of what the upcoming week that i am in is going to be like and i'm gonna get a clearer understanding of what the overall trajectory of the market is going to say to me so i would look for my key levels on the weekly and then now I would go to the daily and on the daily I would see what the immediate trend is what the immediate trend is and that will determine where I will enter on the four hour or the hourly chart now you as a trader you want to ensure that the monthly the weekly and the daily charts are all lined up in the same direction what am i saying if the monthly chart is trending up the daily and the weekly chart should also be trending up you don't want to enter a trade if the daily and the weekly is not in correlation with the monthly because the monthly is going to determine the overall direction. The monthly is going to determine where the trade is going. So you as a trader, you need to be mindful and cognizant of these things. Now, in terms of your entry, as a swing trader, you can enter on the four hour or the one hour. Now, for those individuals who don't want to experience large drawdowns, uh, what they would do is they would enter on the 15 minute or the 30 minute chart. Myself personally, I use the four hour and the one hour to enter my trades because I am aware of what the percentage of drawdown is going to be. And that allows me more liberty, more freedom to be able to uh, make certain decisions in regards to my trade entry. But the key things that you want to know and remember about the top-down analysis is you want to always know that you want to start at the largest time frame which is the monthly and you work your way down to your desired entry time and you want to ensure that there is 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 consistency in terms of the direction of both the monthly the weekly and the daily uh, this has been my analysis this has been my thoughts on top-down analysis but if you as a trader if you as a trader you want to be more consistent with your trades you should implement the top-down analysis method because what the top-down analysis method is going to do for you as a trader is going to give you more consistent uh, trades in terms of you knowing exactly where the market is going a lot of persons they doubt the power of technical analysis and it is due to the fact that they approach technical analysis from too close a perspective if you're going to do technical analysis a very important part of technical analysis is you have to do a top-down analysis 
If you're not doing a top-down analysis, you won't know the true direction of the market and you're going to make very bad trades. And as a result, you're going to blow your account and you're going to lose money time after time. So if you are trading, I don't care what type of trader you are, whether you're a scalper, whether you're a swing trader, oh, boy, it's hot out here in the Bahamas today, but the water looks real good. So after I'm finished with this video, I'm going to jump in that water. <laughs> But yeah, um, <clears throat> when it comes to top-down analysis, you have to understand that it doesn't matter whether you're a scalper, whether you're a swing trader, whether you're an intraday trader, or whether you're a positional trader or a, a standard investor. You have to approach the market from a top-down analysis or you will consistently be losing in the market. That's the best way to put it. So if you want to be... Making money in the Bahamas, like me? Oh, I love this place, the Bahamas. This is one of the few places where you can be on the beach, uninterrupted, unbothered, and you get to have beautiful views like this while you talk about top-down analysis. So, if you haven't subscribed to the channel as yet, you should, because if you wanna get real trading knowledge, if you wanna get trading information, from somebody who's been trading for more than 25 years, log, log in and just simply like and subscribe. And I will try and put out at least one to two videos a week uh, uh, to give you some inside knowledge as to what I've learned through my 20 plus years of day trading. So until next time, uh, this is Doc saying enjoy yourself, be blessed, be healthy, be wise, and be safe. Have a great, great week. See you later.